Hi, welcome back to our innovation. Today we are going to learn 7th Science Term 2, Unit 3, Changes Around Us, Book Evaluation Part 2. We will see this video. Already one word answers will be uploaded in the video. The playlist is in the description. That is why you will learn. Let's go to the video. Unit 3, Page number 54, very short answers, type question. State two examples of periodic changes. Page number 52, some of the periodic changes are given here. In an area, periodic changes So, regular the period wise are the varakudiyadam periodic changes. That is rotation and revolution of the earth, beating of the heartbeat, then clock striking every hour. Motion of the second hours, minute hour, hour hand of the clock or some of the examples of periodic changes. So, you can see this one. Mention any two exothermic reactions. The burning of magnesium ribbon gives out the heat and light. Burning of wood also releases heat and light. Such changes in which heat is released is known as exothermic change. Okay, these are the examples. You can write any one or two examples. Coal milk is heated, it becomes hot. Which type of change it is? That is reversible change. So once coal milk heat another again it gets cooled, isn't it? So it is a reversible change. What type of change is artificial ripening of fruit? That is irreversible chemical change. Okay. So artificial fruit ripen it is because of chemical. Okay. And it is also once again again it can't be reversible. So it is an irreversible change. What type of change is the colouring of a paper? Colouring of a paper, it is a physical change. So on the paper but the Change. It, there is a change in its physical structure. So, it is a physical change. Growing of nails is a periodic change. Why? So, number nails when they grow, it is a periodic change because it occurs at the regular intervals. So, because it occurs periodically at regular intervals. What type of energy changes is associated with ice melts? That is ice, it melts into water. So, this is the change. So, ice melt, I in our final, it leads to water. Okay. Double letter 8 short answers distinguish between physical and chemical change. Page number 39. Physical changes are the changes in which only physical properties of the substances undergo a change and there is no change in its chemical composition. So, physical change is the physical change in the chemical reaction anga nadakadu no new substance will be formed okay the kinds of physical properties are that is luster malleability that is flexibility and ductility density viscosity solubility mass volume and these are the some of the physical properties now examples are for example when a rubber band is stretched it elongates when then stretching is a uh, when then step then it elongates then stretching is stopped the rubber band comes back to its original state and shape so idvarikku first distinguish eduthiradikonga under the heading physical change for chemical change here page number 45 changes that occur with the formation of new substance with different chemical composition or transformation of a substance into another substance with the evaluation or the absorption of heat or light energy are termed as a chemical change. So, new different substances are kedekke It may be of composition alayu, lena transformation alayu, nadakka kudiya process. It, how does it happens with the heat or light, okay. Edad or energy mulyama and the chemical, physical, chemical changes, okay. A new formation are kedekke the chemical change. For example, here the properties are rusting of iron, burning, curling of milk, reaction of baking soda with lemon juice, 
fermentation are some of the examples of chemical chains. You mark it from here until end of this. This is for chemical chain. So, in this way, you mark it. So, physical change, you can draw a line drop and you can draw a chemical change. Page number 54. How can a change occur in a substance? Number 37, a change refers to an alteration in physical properties or alteration in the composition of the matter. So, this is the first point. Then second point here, the changes involved. The change involves an alteration in the properties such as color, texture and the state of the substance since there is formation of a new substance. So, it is the second point and the third point is the example. For example, ice melts on heating and that it changes from solid to liquid. So, or a change is happening. So, why, uh, what does the change refers to? Okay. Can you suggest a method to collect water from seawater? That is evaporation. Is solar eclipse a periodic change give reason? Okay. What is the difference between dissolution of sugar and burning of sugar? Dissolution of sugar. When sugar is dissolved in water, it disappears. If we taste the solution, the sugar is still present in dissolved form. If water is evaporated, we get back the sugar. So, it is a physical and reversible change. If the sugar is dissolved in water, so water la sugar dissolved in and the taste will change. The water will taste the change. If the water gets evaporated, so and the water evaporates and the sugar appears. So it is a physical change and also reversible change. Burning of sugar. Fire activates a chemical reaction between sugar and oxygen. The oxygen in the air reacts with the sugar as the chemical bonds broke. Energy is released in the form of smoke. So, burning a sugar is a chemical change. When we burn the sugar, so sugar burn a humboda and fire activate a So, the chemical changes takes place. Okay, sugar and oxygen kedaila chemical changes narakade. The oxygen in the air reacts with sugar. So, simultaneously the sugar's chemical bond gets broke. Okay, and the sugar in the air chemical bond is not Energy is released in the form of smoke. So, in burning of sugar, la chemical change is not Roman letter 9, long answer time. Explain the following statement, digestion is a chemical change. When we eat, our mouth physically breaks down food into small pieces. So, we eat in our mouth, we are breaking down the food into small pieces. Mechanical digestion occurs in the mouth, stomach and small intestine. So, we digestion, mechanical digestion in the mouth, stomach and inter small intestine. Food is chemically changed in digestion when new smaller substances are formed. Digestion nadakam bodhu, nama food vandhu thaniya chemically change ahadhu. When the digestion takes place, the nutrition will be separated. So, adhu vandhu chinna chinna smaller substances change pani. So, adhu nutrition smattu me thaniya yedutthurum. Moreover, we will never be able to get back the raw material in the same form as it was before. So, nama saapta saapadu apdi return nama nala yedukka mudiyadhu. So, it is a irreversible change. Digestion of food is permanent change which is irreversible change. This is a chemical change. How the iron blade is fixed into a wooden handle in tools used to dig the soil. First the ring in the iron blade of spade is heated. Heating of the blade leads to its expansion and thus the ring gets bigger. This happens because metal always expands on heating. The metal blade is then fitted easily into the wooden handle. After this, cold water is usually poured on the iron blade which leads to the contraction of the expanded iron blade. The spade can also be left to be cooled down, undisturbed so that it is firmly fixed. The blade is attached firmly to the wooden handle of the spade in this process. You need three changes around us. Book evaluation full and we complete panito. In the video, we will be useful. Our innovation channel, either you can subscribe to our channel and subscribe to our friends and share your studies. Thanks for watching our video. Thank you. Have a nice day.